Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Gates, and we're going to have a short video here that will show you how to use the breaking apart strategy with arrays to help solve a multiplication problem. Let's take a look at a sample problem. Let's say that you're given 6 times 7 equals what? Well, we kind of all know that it's 42, right? 6 times 7 is 42. But um, what does that look like as an array? Well, one possible array could be like we have here. We've got six orange circles vertically and seven orange circles horizontally. So you could say you have six rows of seven or seven columns of six. Other way, you get 42 as your answer. Now, if you weren't really sure about that answer, maybe you could take a picture of an array and draw something that would help you out. For example, let's take two of those columns of six away, right? so that we've got two different arrays now. We've got a set of 12, because 6 times 2 is 12, and we have a set of 30, because 6 times 5 is 30. Right? And we've got both of them together. So we're using the word and. And means both, right? We had this 6 by 2 array and the 6 by 5 array, which are just the original array split up into two smaller arrays. What can we do with those? Well, let's replace the word and, first of all, with the mathematical operation symbol plus, because we're adding these two. And let's add some parentheses around the multiplication uh, statements for the two arrays that we've got. So 6 times 2 and plus 6 times 5. We'll put those parentheses around those multiplication statements so that we know we should do them first. The parentheses kind of look like arms waving up saying, hey, look at me, look at me, do me first. So what happens when we actually do this? Well, it's easy to do 6 times 2. That's pretty easy to remember that that's 12. So we've got 6 times 2 equals 12 there. And I've got 6 times 5, which is 30. And altogether, that equals 42. Because 12 plus... 30 equals 42. And sometimes simpler problems like those, 6 times 2 and 6 times 5, are easier to solve than one big problem. It might take you a little bit of time to put this together, but you can see how a big array can be split into two smaller arrays that help you solve a multiplication problem. So what does this mean when you're doing your homework? Well, it just means that if you get a problem like 7 times 8 equals something, you need to create some uh, multiplication problems in parentheses, right? like this, with a plus sign between them. and the equal sign, of course, and then uh, an answer. Okay. Well, I would suggest putting the first factor, in this case the 7, in the uh, parentheses first, okay, and you're going to put it into both, and maybe I can actually get that in there. There we go. We'll put the 7 in there, and then in the other one we'll put the 7 as well. And what goes in the parenthetical group here, this little uh, multiplication statement, after the 7. Well, it has to be some way that we split up 2. How about um, a 2? Something like that. And then over here we could have a 6. Well, now you have two multiplication problems. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 7 times 6, which is 42. You have to add those two up to get your answer of 56. Maybe you don't like that so much. What if you did 7 times 3 and 7 times 5? Well, 
7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 5 is 35. And it might be a little easier to add in your head to get 56. It's kind of up to you. Ultimately, you could even do something like 7 times 4 and 7 times 4. Ooh, the same thing, 28 plus 28. Ooh, that's easy to do in my head, doubling the number, 56. So those are some possible ways to split an array up or break it apart to solve a multiplication problem. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, come on in and ask during homework.